Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing fine. And today I want to talk about why should you design an original character? Maybe you're a bit on the fence or you don't really understand why. It took me quite a long time to start drawing my own characters and that's why I wanted to talk about it. So the first thing I want to mention about this is Doing your own characters can be more fulfilling than doing fan art. Fan art is fun and it's good to see how you can make your own interpretation of the things that you watch and love. And I still do it a lot, I love doing fan art. When I'm playing a game that I'm really into, I just feel the need of drawing my favorite characters or certain moments in the game and that's totally fine. Some people might prefer to focus on doing fan art, others on doing their original art or maybe a mix of both, which is what I do. I have moments when I just want to do fan art. But when you're creating everything from the ground up, you feel proud of yourself. You thought about everything in this character and at first it was just something on your mind and at the end you see it takes shape and having a final result. It's really fulfilling and I end up loving my characters even more than my fan arts. And this is normal because it's all you, the, the characters you created are yours, they're your own ideas. And with fan art, well, it's other people's characters, so you don't have the same kind of fulfillment. At least I feel it that way. Of course, it might be different for others to give me your own opinion on that. But when you're creating your characters, you're not just trying something. You're writing the character, you're telling a story with them, you're thinking about the colors and the outfits and every single thing is your decision. And this might be a bit harder than just picking someone's character and doing some fun out of it. And because of that whole work that you do, the character you created is more special to you. So this is one of the things I love about creating my own characters, is that I feel that they're mine, I'm proud of the things that I created, and how it all started maybe sometimes with just a word or a vague idea in my mind and I end up with something, with a full character drawn, with a story, with an outfit, with the colors picked, I think it's really amazing. Now the second reason, and this is a bit tied up, uh, that I think that you should make your own characters is that it improves your imagination. Creating new characters really makes you go out of bounds and get inspired by other works of art. This in turn improves your imagination, since you'll have to come up with interesting characters based on what you see and know. So for example, this all comes up also, you can't just have imagination out of nowhere, you also need to find inspiration and have a good visual library in your mind so you can fool and feed your imagination to create new things. So inspiration, if you need some help with that, if you don't know where to get some inspiration right now, I made a video on 10 ways for you to get inspired or find your inspiration for art, so do check that out. And again, a good imagination is always a great thing to have. It allows you to have endless ideas for more characters, projects and even for work-related tasks. So for my next reason on why you should create your own character is that it makes you think of more than just art. When thinking about creating a new character, I highly advise people to start by actually writing it down. This will help make a more interesting and immersive character than if you just started drawing it right away. Of course, I don't mean that you can't draw an idea right away, of course you can, sometimes I start with random doodles and then I go write a bit about the character because my mind starts to think about those ideas and I want to write those down. Because sometimes we do have great ideas or others maybe those ideas aren't as exceptional right from the beginning, but write always those ideas down because you can always develop something from that. So if you had a random idea, if you're out there on the supermarket and you had an idea, write it down on a piece of paper, write it down on your phone, wherever you like, but always keep your ideas somewhere. So as you can see, and we talked about this before, there's more to character design than just drawing. 
you need to write it down, you need to write your ideas, the backstory of your character and after that you need to make some research before you draw your characters. You might want to know things about the places where they live, the kind of outfits you want them to wear and so on. So doing this will help you create relatable characters and improve your writing skills. This can be really useful if you want to use your characters for a webcomic, a graphic novel or even for writing a book in general. And a lot of artists want to create stories with their drawings, so if this is something you're looking for, then start to practice writing your characters right away before start starting to draw them or to draw them more seriously. So. Another reason why I think you should create your own characters is that it improves your drawing skills. Now I've said this before in other videos but not all practice is great practice. But coming up with new characters through good research is usually a very good practice because it will make you look for references that you can use in your drawings. So if you tend to avoid using references in your drawings this is an excellent opportunity to start doing so. Remember that references are your friends, you learn by looking at things. So if you want to create a character who lived in the 80s for example you'll have to research outfits and hairstyles of that time and learn how to draw them. So if it's something that you can't see in real life right now, go on the internet and find some references. There's so much things around. So I don't know, if you want to draw a knight, for example, you'll have to learn about armor and how to paint it. And armor is something that, for me at least, I find it really hard. So if I want to draw something like that, I'll make sure to look up some references and draw them. I'll start by drawing them individually before adding them to my character. I want to have a visual library, I want to, to make studies of it so I know how to draw it and so I know how to implement that in my character. When I have a goal, for example, I want to create a warrior character, a knight, and I'll go look it up and I'm going to make studies of it because I want to create the perfect character with it. So I think for me it ends up being a little bit more fulfilling because I do have a goal in mind. And lastly, why should you create your own characters? Because it's fun. It's That's it. It's just really, really fun. Imagining things in your head and being able to give form to them is just amazing. It's a great way of expressing yourself and letting people know what you like or don't like. In my opinion, this is one of the best ways to improve your drawing skills while having fun with it. And you can always put a bit of yourself in each character, they will almost always will be relatable to you because they are creating according to your own experiences or the experiences that you want to have, your likes, your dislikes, there's always a little bit in you in each character. And I think it can be really fun. So. If you're in doubt of making your own characters, if you think it's silly for some reason, just put those ideas to the side and just start. Even if it's just a word or two in your sketchbook of some idea that you have in your mind and see what will happen from there. You never know. You never know what you end up creating. So have fun. And if you do have your own characters already, do tell me about them in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and remember, keep on drawing!